I love a whiskey sour. And I happened upon a uh, recipe for a blood orange whiskey sour. Um, and we've been going nuts on blood oranges here recently. And I've been using them as my um, as my garnish for my old fashioned. So um, it's going to be fairly simple and I'll include it on there. And I want to make sure I give credit where credit's due. Here's my post-it. I got it. Post-it time because I'm very professional. Um, the Gastronom blog, um, and I'll, I'll link it in the, in the show notes here, um, gave me the idea for this. And I'm taking a good 75% of the recipe from them um, with my own little, little um, version of it here. So blood orange, um, you're still, we're still going to use some lemon. Um, I've already um, peeled the uh, juice, I should say, and peeled the blood orange. And what I actually did was made some um, homemade simple uh, syrup, which is just um, simple syrup at its core, just half water, half sugar, granulated sugar, and you melt it and mix it up. Um, I took the orange peels from the blood orange and cooked them in there. So it got a nice orange um, flavor to it. Um, and then because um, I apparently had a lot of time on my hands last night, I took those peels and then candied them. So they were already drenched wow. in sugar, candied those in the oven. So that's going to end up being the garnish for the drink. Yeah. Um, and you don't have to do all that. You can just use simple syrup bot and everything, but I, that's, I don't work apparently. <laughs> that's amazing. That is, that just, uh, that sounds absolutely delicious and refreshing. Yeah. 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 So, oh, and the recipe is simple. So it's about an ounce of the, well, you know what I did was about, um, uh, half of a, well, yeah, about a half a blood orange and a half a lemon. Um, and if you are doing it when you're drinking, I always peel them first. So I have the peel if I'm just going to um, use it for the juice. Um, and then that gives you the peel and the juice. So, and I have a little cup here that I'll show everyone. But it's just a mixing cup. Um, and then I like to put just a couple dabs of the aromatic uh, bitters. Um, I always say the name of this place wrong. Agostura is, is a, a better place. They make a, a really nice one. I'll give that just a couple of dabs. Um, and then, and really what you're looking at with a whiskey sour is about um, a few parts whiskey and one sour. Um, so, and I'm going to use, instead of like a bourbon, I'm going to use a rye because it's going to be kind of sweet with the orange. Um, so I'm going to use the rye to counteract that a little bit. And I'm going to measure, as you can hear, um as i just pour that bottle um loosely into there um and that is about it i'm going to give this a quick shake and then dump it into a, a glass Thank you. a little more of a shake that sounded sad um and then i have my uh my glass with my one large uh little ice cube should be the same nice. one that you had mentioned uh tim td johnson's episode same yes. ice cubes i mentioned there and uh Dumps that in there, and I'm going to use the the lemon peel um, that I had off as the garnish, and I will show it to everyone. Rightish, about now. Mm. Wow! Yeah. What is that? So. Yes. Mm. Cheers. 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 Yes. I lost my manners and didn't cheers there. I apologize. That is. Yeah. Well. That, that's worth the price of admission right there. That, that's, uh, 